Didn't those idiots ever learn how to run properly? Whoa, hey! Uh, what are you doing this neck of the woods? Not that you don't have a right to be here, that is. <laughs> it's just, well, a griffin nesting ground doesn't tend to be the best place for a stroll. Me? Why, I just got a little lost, is all. I would have left already if not for my friends. We were separated, you see, running away from those damn beasts. I'm not much of a fighter, so I'm just hoping they'll make their way out. Really? I have to warn you, the griffins in there are quite nasty. They do anything to protect their nests from invaders. But if you're willing, I'd be mighty grateful. Even pay you for your efforts. If you find my companions, let them know to meet me by the way shrine, right down the road. And don't worry, I won't run off before you get your reward. I haven't run that hard in a long time. That root ass best still be by the road. She owes me for this. I can't believe I was nearly pecked to death. Nothing is worth this sort of trauma. Oh, I'll go back to Mirinel, all right, and give her a piece of my mind. This was all her idea in the first place. be praised. I can't believe you were able to pull that off. You're something else. And don't worry, Gwynalis told me about Aralim. It's a damn shame he had to die, but at least my other companions are safe. You did? Well, I'll be taking that. Wouldn't want it to go to waste, after all. Thanks again for all you've done. These two would have never been able to make it out, if not for you. This reward isn't much. But it's the best I can do. We'll head to Cloudrest, as soon as my companions have time to rest. I think we've got our bearings now. What? I... I... I mean... Oh, all right. After all, you did save these drag heels. We actually came here to collect some griffin eggs. I thought we could just sneak in and out, but the damn creatures must have caught wind of us. Someone hired us to grab some, is all. Not sure why. Griffins aren't easy to come by, though, outside of Somerset. Perhaps our buyer plans to sell the eggs somewhere off the island. A venture that is not, far as I know, entirely legal. Of course. It's always a good practice to keep such transactions under wraps. For all I know, you'd have run off and told the Divine Prosecution. I wouldn't go tattling now, though. After all... You were the one who handed me the egg.
court with tales of how Paradon bravely wrestled seven volumes to the ground. He'll have the paper cut. Are you trying to marinate before the giant salamander roasts you? Did you hear that weeping again? Oh, I've had enough of this place. Hmm, a traveler. Don't see many wanderers out here near the Acropolis. Best give it a wide berth. There's a curse on this place. I didn't believe it at first, but once you hear that ghostly shriek, it'll make you a believer. Trust me. Ah, I see it, that look in your eye. You mean to go in there and break the curse of the Dereni Acropolis, don't you? Ah, you newcomers are an ambitious lot, I'll give you that. There's a ghost in there called Lorio. She's the root of it. Some folks say she was an innocent girl, buried alive by an evil sister. Others say she was a necromancer, put to the sword. Who knows? If you manage to run her off, you'll be doing all of Somerset a favor. Just don't expect us to go in after you. So, you're really going to look into this, yes? Ifra's bones if you adventurers aren't a peculiar bunch. I've got no orders to keep you out. Not many grave robbers dumb enough to loot this place. No offense. Anyway, it's been nice knowing you. The seal, the key. Take them. We must keep her locked away. Do not let her escape. Keeper? No. No, an intruder. Did you not hear the shrieks? The groaning admonitions? This is a cruel and sour place, outsider. Your beating heart mocks the dead. Who am I? I was called L'Oreal. But in truth, I am sorrow-given voice. Agony given form. 
A prisoner confined to this cold, dead Acropolis for all time. You were brave to come here. But are you brave enough to seek the truth of this place? I haven't the heart to speak it aloud. I can only bear the pain through song. Even now, all these long centuries later, the taste of betrayal still fills my mouth. My soul is bound to the catacombs, sealed away in a vault of stone deep below. You carried the Keeper's golden seal. There is another, a crimson seal. It is close. I sense its presence, like a whispered accusation. Follow my voice. Find the Crimson Seal and place it here beside its golden brother. They will clear the path. My jailers, sons and daughters of the Dereni, sworn to keep me imprisoned here. I no longer sense their presence. That gives me some small relief, at least. Did you not hear me? The sorrow robs me of my breath. I can only bear to tell you in song. I... I am sorry. Sisters too, bound by love and joy. The elder set sail, but the younger remained. Alone with her tomes and her heartache. Dark wisdom on his lips.
the Crimson Keeper. Keep to the oath, seal bearer. Do not believe her lies. She is not what she seems. Don't listen. Her words are poison! Her heart is twisted. She deserves this fate! Doors closed and locked, the sister's power grew. Her gold eyes fixed on graves and tombs, the necromancer's muse. At length, the eldest did return, flush with arcane might. She found her sister's undead thralls and wept long at the sight, knowing death could not contain her sister's newfound power. The eldest and her dear any kin buried me alive. Is screaming into the black.
keeper. Don't you see what she has done? I will not let you free her. You found me at last. Do you see what they did to me? What they are all still doing? Is a young girl's curiosity worthy of this torment? I only wish to pass on, to be free of this place. Please help me. You see my prison now, this circle of braziers. The Keepers would have you relight these fires to whip me back into silence. But I beg you, take up the Keeper's flame and burn my corpse. Without my body, the Dereni's cruel magics cannot find me. It's as I said in my song. My sister and I were inseparable. Different sides of a single coin, my uncle used to say. Eventually, she set out to study with the Magisters on the Isle of Balfiera. I was left here, alone. I struggled with my craft, falling further and further behind. Eventually, I found a mentor. A black-clad sorcerer who taught me the dark arts. Necromancy. I took to it like a sparrow to the wind. Eventually, my power rivaled that of my sister. Yes. She found my mentor and I weaving spells over the corpses of our ancestors. She struck my mentor dead with a killing word, then wrapped me in searing chains. My sister wept when our kin rendered the sentence, that I would be buried alive. No. She carried out the sentence herself. Her face was the last thing I saw before they closed the lid. The Dereni feared what I would become if they executed me outright. So they constructed this arcane prison, this torture chamber. She did what she was expected to do. I have nothing more to say. The Keepers marked my body with runes of restraint before they locked me in the tomb. After I... expired, my soul tried to escape. But even now, centuries later, I am tethered to that husk. If you burn away my body, you also burn these runes. <sighs> Would you ask a caged meadowlark what it would do? It would fly free, feel the sun on its wings, and sing its forgotten songs. It would find the joy that it had long been denied. Revenge upon whom? The elves that locked me away are long dead. Dead and gone. Only their tombs remain. Their tombs... and their descendants. I... I would return to that coffin. I would go back to screaming in silent horror, gazing up at the ancient scratches on the coffin lid where I tore my fingernails to pieces trying to get out. Forever. Or until some other kind soul burned my corpse prison. You followed me and listened to my tale. I know you will do what is right.
We arrive at the moment of choice. Please, use the key for... Yes! Finally! I feel the chain slipping from my shoulders. My spirit is free! Free to go wherever I wish. Oh, you have done quite a deed. Your kindness will not be forgotten. Oh, squandered. I'm sure you have many questions. I'm sorry I cannot stay to answer them. I have much to do. So much to do. Farewell. Ah, you're back. Sorry if I seem surprised. Honestly, I wrote you off as dead the minute you walked through those gates. No offense. Brought something for me, eh? A key. With the Dereni seal. What exactly did you find in there? Ugh. Look, I don't know how you do things, wherever it is you come from. But here on Somerset, we try not to set evil spirits loose. At least the weather cleared a bit. Here, I'll pay you for that key and we'll pretend this never happened. Fair? By the... What was that? Where is it going? North, looks like. Out to sea. Towards Barfiera. <gasps> Strange. <laughs> 